To install the Equipment Asset Tracker battery device, you'll need the following items. First, identify the location for mounting the device. Here are a few good options where you might want to install the device. Keep the device clear of moving parts or areas that will expose the device to debris. Also, stay away from heat sources over 180 degrees Fahrenheit or high-pressure water and do not mount the device face down underneath the asset. Before mounting the device on the asset, you need to wake the device by pressing the status button and allow it to boot up. Hold the device where you intend to mount it and press the device status button firmly for one to three seconds to wake the device. Once the device is awake, press the status button a second time. When the status button is pressed, the device performs checks on the battery level, cell network connection, and GPS receiver. If the connection to the network and GPS are successful, the device sends a location update to the fleet portal or installer portal in addition to its usual check-in schedule. Next, go to the fleet portal on your computer, then navigate to My Account, Manage Your Fleet, and then Install Hardware. From there, you can add the device to your fleet portal and verify its location is reporting accurately. You may also use the Enterprise Installer Portal on your mobile device to link the device to an asset and verify its reporting by visiting verizonconnect.com slash enterprise installer portal. Note that it is much easier to navigate using a tablet device. If the asset doesn't report the location accurately, verify the device's serial number matches the serial it was assigned in the system. Then press the status button again to send a fresh location update. If after several minutes the asset location still doesn't report accurately, do not mount the device in that location. Repeat the test until the asset's location is reporting accurately. If you're still unable to see the device on the map, call customer support for assistance at 877-943-7306. You are now ready to mount the device. After identifying where to install the device, mark the areas to drill the pilot holes. Next, use the provided self-tapping screws or bolts to mount the device once you have finalized the mounting location. You may notice that the asset is listed in fleet with the serial number as the asset name. We recommend renaming the asset in your fleet portal to make it easier to recall and locate in your map and reports. To edit the name, choose Vehicles under the main menu list on the left. Click the name of the vehicle you would like to edit and choose Edit Vehicle from the drop-down menu. You'll see the name field on the top row. Click inside the name box and enter the new name. This completes the installation of the Equipment Asset Tracker battery device.